Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Hope you're having a fantastic day. The Google Pixel 9 Pro and Pro XL have already been leaked out. We've shown them, but there's actually gonna be a third Google Pixel 9 as well. So they're gonna be releasing at the same time, most likely in October, the Pixel 9, Pixel 9 Pro, and the Pixel 9 Pro XL. Now the screen display sizes for all three phones are 6.03 inches for the 9, the 9 Pro will be 6.1 inches, and the 9 Pro XL will be 6.5 inches. The Pro and the Pro XL will be smaller than the previous generation of Pixel 8 Pro um, phones. So a little bit smaller, which I'm not always a huge fan of. I don't, I'm kind of surprised, especially on the XL, that they're going to be basically 0.2 to 0.3 inches smaller than their biggest competitors here in America, which are, actually you can even throw in the OnePlus in there, the OnePlus 12, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and the Galaxy S24 Ultra. So smaller displays, which I don't know. I don't know why they're doing, I'll be honest with you. It's kind of weird to me, especially with the 9 and 9 Pro being so close in size. And then obviously you gotta think that the 9 Pro versus the 9 will just be a better phone in terms of probably processing power, RAM, storage allotments, cameras. But other than that, I mean, you got almost the same size display. So smaller phones overall, what do you guys think about these new phones from Google coming out in October? Our last story of the day is a huge disappointment in my eyes. Samsung continually does not improve this feature and they're not supposedly so far based off of some submissions through government agencies on the Galaxy Z Fold 6. <sighs> Such a disappointment. Here it is. This is the tweet from Ice Universe who is saying that they will be only using 25 watt charging specs on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Flip 6. Such a huge disappointment in my eyes. It's so long in the tooth that Samsung would and should finally release new phones that have much faster charging. They've been stuck on 25 watts. I don't even, has it been 10 years? It's been so long. And at least even go to 45 watt. I mean, you get it on the S24 Ultra, which 25 and 45 watts is not a huge difference, but there is some difference. Even doing that would be a little sugar in your tea. And this, they're just not improving it. Year over year, year over year. This is almost, this is probably gonna be a $2,000 close to that anyway, phone price. And you're still getting slow, fast speeds, if that makes any sense. When I say slow, fast, I'm talking, these are fast charging speeds, but they're not that fast. You've got a lot of phones from OnePlus and other Chinese companies that are double, triple, quadruple sometimes the speed of these charging speeds and charge in 15, 20 minutes versus basically an hour, hour and 10 minutes for what the Galaxy does. It's really crazy. What are your thoughts on this? Does this make you stop from buying the Galaxy Z Fold 6? Let us know in the comments down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.